My background is in corporate brand marketing. I worked for local and international product manufacturers, which basically means things that you would buy on a supermarket shelf and they run all their brands internally. So every brand has a brand manager, brand managers have a marketing manager, and they're responsible for running that brand as a business. And I worked in corporate in Joburg, in that kind of world, for over 10 years. I worked on the Pantene launch in South Africa, and I worked on Five Roses, I had Frisco in my portfolio, some skincare over the years, so a wide range of interesting products. I wrote this book because eventually I struggled with some of the clashes of values as to what the companies are looking for and what is happening for consumers on the ground. And as brand managers, you have an interesting kind of dual facing role. You have to understand the consumer and really meet their needs, but you also have a duty to the company who employs you to help them maximize profits. The story is very much around a brand called Makulu Maze which is a maize meal product. It's one of the categories that serves the poorest software in this country, which is why I chose it. It's not a category I've worked on, but it is indicative of those kinds of products that do serve that target market and are made by big companies. The story is fictional, but it is based on, um, in part, my experiences in this world, but also the fact that we know, just from reading the news, how many issues there are around these kinds of products and all sorts of categories in this country. In the book, that intimate knowledge of the consumer comes through. Uh, some of the brand managers actually go into people's houses. Did you ever go into people's houses to see how they lived and what they lived and what values they lived? All the time. It was one of the best things we ever did as brand managers because it is your role to understand the consumer and really understand their needs and help the company meet them in the best possible way. So we did those kinds of visits um, and sometimes people were unenthusiastic about them but it's the single best way to really understand what people's lives are like as opposed to sitting in an office in Santa and imagining from research numbers. But there is a dichotomy in your book be between people who sit in offices in Santon and those who actually visit the consumer. Do you briefly want to touch on that because I think that's very much what your book is about. I think it is. Um, I think that sometimes senior management loses touch with what's happening with the consumer um, and the numbers and their company duty become more important, which some people will argue is their role. Um, um, for me, I struggled with that. There's a shower scene in this book. <laughs> I'm sure it will raise your mother's eyebrow. I'm sure. <laughs> Have your mother or any of your friends or family read the book yet? Uh, my husband has, so less of an issue for him, obviously. <laughs> um, I haven't heard any other reports yet. 